Astros continuing coverage of double-A Northeast League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Harrisburg Senators and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. We've got baseball on and, uh, the show, and it's coming up next. New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Now at the plate is Jordy Barley, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. All even now, two and two. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. Got it, check it. So here is Israel Pineda. Pineda. And it's fouled away. Swing and a little blooper to center. DeCastro backs up and takes care of it. Two away. That Digging in next, Ali Castillo. Ali Castillo. The 1-1 one, one home. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Into the box, Riquelvin De Castro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. To one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a liner. Marte is there and he has it for the first down. Now That's into the second. box, Orelvis Martinez. Orelvis Martinez. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. Here's a That's fastball a in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Another 2-2 offering. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. Batting third. The first baseman. In now, Nash Knight. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Robertson. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A ball and two strikes now. Martinez, the runner at first with two gone. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. Second inning set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Ian Sagdahl. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. At the plate now is That's Nick it. Banks. The left fielder, number three, Nick Banks. Swing and a miss on the fastball, one and it's one and two. two strikes. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this no, team off balance. Misses, ball two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Fouled away. And a three full two. count as that misses. It's three and two now. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run.
to the plate now. Alec Keller. No two offer on that one. Two yeah. balls and a strike. Van Eyck isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Wall is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jackson Clough. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first ends the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Desan Brown, and they could use a spark from him here. The 1 1 home. He's an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Rutledge. Originally from the state of Missouri, he was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2019. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He's just got a few more developmental things to work on. And he got him. That exists. The catcher. Rodrigo. Be here. 1-1 one home. Misses for Two the balls. second ball. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. That Striding forward now is the DH. Hitter. Number 30. Number he 30. stands in for the first time in this one. Outside, two and one. one, one. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And that ends the inning. Now it'll be Daniel Marte as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Now another one-two. Hit hard towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. That is not the second base. Stepping in now, Cole Freeman. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Call to strike and it's full three and two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. Back to first, but it's right by him. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. He's set. Here comes the one one. Ball match outside. Had a good cut there, but he can't time the breaking ball. That evens us at two and two. And that misses there, so he runs to count full now. Now the three and two pitch. Lined hard to center field. Brown is there, two gone. So next to hit is Israel Pineda. Flew out last time up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 
trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Throws there at first, so the error doesn't hurt him on the scoreboard as the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Esteban Machado. The 2-1 home. Right side, but it's well fouled. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. And this will miss down okay. low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The three, two, one more time. High in the air into shallow left center. Barley onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And stepping in, no Forrest here. Wall. Forrest. Bases are empty, one man in. No oh, offer that on that one. Two balls and a strike. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been hey. long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 yeah, throws back. just to them so far. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. And he no, takes ball four. Oh, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Next, it'll be Rekelvin DeCastro. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. And this is swung on and missed. His now fifth strikeout it. already. Third and there are two gone Four in the LB. inning. Mark. He Nearly well, got the inside, the but ruled the ball. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. on the ground towards short. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Into the box, Nash Knight. Hit weakly back to the mound. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Now to bat, Ali Castillo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball. Two and one. Three and one now. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now that the first base at the plate now, Ian Sagdahl. A ball and two strikes. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got the knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. On to first, and they get the double play. Next to hit is Nick Banks. Off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. 
And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Stepping up is Will Robertson. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. 1-1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on up the inning. Now back, the center fielder. Into the box now. Desan Brown. Right down to shoot that time. One and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Next here is Rodrigo Vigio. Flew out and is only at bat so far. The 1-1 home. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Swing and a little blooper to center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Throw won't get him. Now battle, number 30. In now, number 30. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Banks is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Next to dig in, Esteban Machado. Base knocked to the outfield. Could score the tying run from second. Fastball called strike. One and two. Swinging bunt that rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with it. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Alec Keller. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. And now here is Jackson Clough. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The center fielder. Up next, Daniel Marte. He collected a base hit his first time up. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Four seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped a clutch on that pitch. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and the inning will continue. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Reed Schaller, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 49. To the plate now, Forrest Wall. Pitch is popped up. Castillo waits on it. He's got it one away. The so the batting order turns That's over now stop. and set to go. Rekelvin De Castro. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on one that ball, one. Strikes, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 
Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out now number batting. two. Third baseman. Hits are now Four even at LP. four apiece. Mark Hedan. And he misses in, two and one. Two. And he lays off again, ball three. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Here comes the one-two. Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. So a full count now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Jacob Wagyu's pack takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 62. Jacob. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go is the second baseman, Cole Freeman. The 1-1 one, one home. Two, one. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first He's gets out. him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now Stepping in once again is Jordy Barley. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. One out, nobody on. Hit to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in will be Israel Pineda. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Desan Brown. 1-1. One, one. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Ready now is Rodrigo Vigio. A fly out and a single for him so far. The 1-1 home. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a challenge. And we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Number 30. At the plate, number 30. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. The batter, number six. Second baseman. So now to the plate, Esteban Machado. One ball. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. At 
Looks like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Marte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting. Left fielder. So now here is Forrest Wall. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Weekly hit to third. He's got it. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get it up on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. The bat. Not shortstop. Standing in now, Kelvin DeCastro. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Kirby Sneed is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 60. Kirby. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Ali Castillo. Now the one and one pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Wall is under this one. And he puts it away for the first down. Striding in is Ian Sagdahl. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it. And it's 2 and 1 now. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out three passes down. this late. Ani bailed him out with a swing, three and two now. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Now that and now Nick Banks Nick. comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? He's down one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Orelvis Martinez. Skied into straightaway right. Keller is there to put it away for route number one. Now at the plate, now here back. is Nash first Knight. Baseman. Third trip to the plate yeah. for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. 1-1 one, one home. Inside ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Popped him up. Pineda shading to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now Next to hit, Will Robertson. Right He's working on a one for three thus far. Robertson. Two out, nobody on. One and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Marte gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Alec Keller, he flew out in his last A.B.,
lays off the slider that count. time. Two and one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Wall is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Jackson Clough. Been a strike twice in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in on to first, and there were two down. Next up, Daniel Marte, two for two in the ball game so far. The set and the two-one. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Wall is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So now to the plate, Desan Brown, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time. One away. Next to stand in is Rodrigo Vigio. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B. Maybe once a game. Maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Next up is number 30. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Three balls and Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Full count still. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Rounded softly down the line toward first. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Ryan Baker will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Number 43. So now into the box is Cole Freeman. He bounced out last time up. A one one. Fouled off. Here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. will take it over the outfield wall and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Into the box now. Jordy Barley popped him up. Vigio has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Big spot here. And it'll be Israel Pineda. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. the 2-1. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Next it will be Ali Castillo. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 2-2. Two 
Ian Sagdahl would be next. Strikes him out on a good pitch, so one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. So stepping in is Esteban Machado. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. Keller is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. So the next to bat will be Forrest Wall, a hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the one-two. This is hit the other way out toward left field, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Riquelvin De Castro. He went down on strikes last time up. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. We are into extra innings, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ian Sagdahl. The one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike, the count. To two and two now. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Big at bat now, and here is Nick Banks. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in time at first for out number two. Stepping in next, Alec Keller. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Here's the 1-1. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, a terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Dakota Backus takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Safe situation here in inning number 10. Striding in is Orelvis Martinez, trying here to plate the tying run from second. To two balls and two strikes now. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change high levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Borelvis Martinez is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Throw gets him, two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Robertson. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Robertson. From the stretch, the one-two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Barley is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Reed Schaller gets the W on the mound, so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
final line score. First for the victorious Senators, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Fisher Cats, one run, seven hits, one error. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.